G'day guys, welcome to Sumo's Projects and welcome to today's uh, small review on uh, a Zito spray gun. Now this is a, a spray gun that you hook up, electrically uh, powered, so what we'll do today, we'll uh, get it out of the box, we'll see what's in the box and um, we'll put it to a bit of a use to see how good it does work. So if this is your first time viewing Sumo's Projects, I'd love it if you could go ahead and just do this. In Australia, Azito is a brand that is a budget brand exclusive to Bunnings Warehouse and I believe it will be something similar to Harbour Freight over in the States or a budget brand in other countries. Once you've taken the uh, sprayer out of the packaging and had a bit of a look over the instructions. It's quite simple from there. Uh, this part here is where the motor is at the back. And what we want to do is attach this canister uh, and lock it into place. So we've got two sort of locking nuts here on either side of there. Um, so what we do, this part here will then align with this little slot in here. So we'll go ahead and do that. That goes in like so, and then we lock that down on both sides and that's going to go nowhere so that's now in position um, with the spray fan uh, there's several different ways to do it so we can look at either having our fan uh, spray out so we can paint upwards and downwards uh, this is where we got a little locking nut here uh, if we undo that and bring forward uh, our little spray see if we can turn it around to a vertical position so now the fan will be uh, uh, at best going across and we can also put that on an angle so for doing oblique type spraying if uh, if that's what you're up to so for the purpose of the exercise I'm going to keep this in uh, say a vertical position because I, uh, that's probably the type of spray I'm wanting to do first off so after that all we do is just uh, we lock that nut back into position and that will lock our uh, fan direction in. So the canister, that just unscrews here. What we have here is, this is the uh, suction hose. So when this is in operation, it'll suck up the, uh, the paint and that. And this could be positioned in different ways. So um, according to the instructions, having it go in this direction uh, will maximize once you have your paint. Uh, you'll be able to do more this way. So pretty much a, a flat spray or downward trajectory. Um, if you're wanting to spray anything up at a height, you just merely turn that around and it will allow you to do the spray that way. So as we see here, the trigger is, um, it has an adjustment. So I think what we're doing here is we're going to have to fill up the canister uh, get the mix, the viscosity right, and then um, just do a bit of a practice run to see how uh, much pressure and how much spray we want to go at any given time. There's two scales of uh, measurement here, both in um, millers, in mills, and also in ounces. Uh, for the sake of this exercise, working in metric, uh, the capacity here is about 800 mil. So, as a bit of a general rule, we're looking at perhaps a 10% a ten, 10 mix down of water uh, to paint to get our uh, consistency of viscosity and uh, that's normally a bit of a rule of thumb so um, to do that just uh, I just purchased one of these I think this was about a dollar if that um, and that has a scale here so at 10% of 800 mil uh, we're looking at about 80 mil of water so we have 50 here, 60, 70, 80. If we put about that much water in and uh, put it into the pot first and then fill your paint up to the level of 800 and um, give it a good stir, shake around and that should be just about the right mix for uh, the application of uh, painting. However, if you're looking at doing um, uh, different types of work uh, where you've already got a thin down oil base or or water base uh, finish um, you, you may not have to do anything and just uh, go ahead and apply that liberally and uh, may have to just uh, you know vary the distance from the finished product 
uh, to the sprayer and uh, that should give you a nice clear coat that way. My experience is I found that Azito range of products have been generally pretty good and they're improving all the time. Instructions are very clear and probably better than some of the expensive manufacturers instructions. Um, just when you're uh, sorting out this, it can be a little bit messy but it just takes a little bit of patience and practice and uh, you're just about ready to go and spray. I've found that just by giving it a go and trying to learn a little bit about how this uh, apparatus works uh, was the best practice and I've got this uh, a louver frame here I'm just spraying and, and it really came up nicely. Upon finishing with the paint, I cleaned out the bowl and then filled it with some indoor outdoor grade uh, furniture oil and uh, applied that. You can see how quick and easy that was. So there you have it guys, for just under $42 at Bunnings Warehouse, this little sprayer is a, a fun thing to use, um, have a bit of fun, muck around, uh, get used to you know how the spray works and that. Uh, make sure you clean everything thoroughly um, and that helps for the next time you want to use it and you, in the box you get uh, pretty good instructions as they are pretty good with their instructions so no hassles there and you also get this little pin uh, to unclog the uh, the not the spray nozzle just in case it gets blocked up it's handy to have something like that on hand but just keep everything clean and um, if you compare costs well those little pressure packs they're about seven to eight dollars and they can add up to quite a fair bit of money where if you purchase this once uh, buy your paint in perhaps four litre quantity uh, you're going to end up way way in front and uh, you're also going to have a lot more fun using this all right so if you like this video please uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, view any future content from sumo's projects and also past i have about 70 videos out and uh, they include making stuff uh, reviewing some things and uh, all that DIY type activity. All right. Thanks for watching. See you.